we are Team Bumblebee from the National University of Singapore. Here, we can see our AV 3.99 submerge and maintain its depth and heading as it travels towards the validation gate. Now watch as our AV 4.0 transits while maintaining its heading and depth as well. Through a combination of sensor fusion using an extended common filter, and a 6 degree of freedom non-linear PID described in our technical report, we are able to localize our position with a high degree of accuracy and maintain our depth and heading perfectly. Prior to the pool tests, we ran a couple of simulations in Gazebo which highlights our AUV 4.0's ability to perform the controlled rotations. Here, we see both our AV 3.99 and 4.0 perform a series of 120 degree yaw rotations after passing through the validation gates. This demonstrates the robustness of our control architecture. Once again, we are able to make use of our 6 degree of freedom non-linear PID to ensure that our AUVs are able to move between different headings with high precision and accuracy. Now, Having demonstrated our movement and station keeping capabilities, we will be demonstrating more advanced behaviors. The AUV 3.99 has chosen the G-Man target, while the AUV 4.0 has chosen the bootlegger. As can be seen in the video, both our AV 3.99 and 4.0 are able to identify and pass through the chosen gates. Upon passing through the validation gate, our AV 3.99 makes use of our vision pipeline to accurately localize and navigate to the correct buoys. We use a combination of ML train computer vision and sonar detections to power a particle filter to track the position of the boys in real time, as detailed in our technical report. After verifying the positions of the boys, our behavior tree based mission planner chooses the appropriate boy 
and navigates to and bumps into the boy. Here, we see the front camera view of our AUV successfully touching the boys. As previously described, we are able to localize the torpedo obstacle with a high degree of accuracy and make use of our mission planner to move as close as possible to the obstacle. Next, we use our newly developed electronically controlled actuation system described in a technical report to fire the torpedoes into the appropriate holes. we are able to identify the torpedo holes using our ML-based computer vision. Our AV3.99 is able to identify the bins and accurately lift the cover off using our gripper. Next, the AV drops a ball into the bin. Here, we see the gripper removing the obstacle cover and dropping the ball through our bottom-facing camera. <laughs> 